made it into Chiricahua National Monument. Just another four or five miles. All right, I'm gonna walk up this little mountain called Sugarloaf. This will be the second Sugarloaf that I've done. There's one in Boulder, Utah, which is gonna be more interesting than this, but there was no parking at the Big Loop Trailhead in Chiricahua, so I'm gonna, this is only a mile each way. Um, it looks like it's only about, I don't know, four or 500 feet gain. Um, so it wraps around, it should be pretty easy, I think. Um, but it'll get a good view of the, of the whole monument. We're sort of at the high point of the monument, or this might be the high point. So, oh, what are these guys doing? Picking some berries. Well, this trail has a tunnel in it. So that's cool, I guess. It just wraps around and goes up sort of the back side. But it's been uh, pretty flat and tame so far. I guess at some point it should go up a little more, but four or 500 feet in one mile is not a lot. And definitely all runnable so far. On the back side now, so that snow out there that I saw yesterday is Mount Graham. Um, and there are those two little rabbit ears. Um, they actually have trails to the top of them. One was called Sentinel. I forget the other one, but I'd like to summit those two prominent rabbit ears there. Here's looking down to the whole Chiricahua area. And uh, we're just wrapping around the backside here, slowly going up. Um, you know, we've probably gone up probably 300 feet, um, so we probably don't have too much more left. Um, but yeah, real nice, nice easy trail. Nice and windy and cool up here too, because we're up at, I actually don't know what elevation we're at. I will tell you on the summit when I look at the map. I think we're, we might be close to 6,000 or at least 5,000, I think. So I will let you know, we're actually almost on the summit, I think. Maybe I'll just take you, take you all the way to Mr. Summit here. Some cool trees. They're like mini, like, baobab trees or something. They're not baobabs, look at, so these mountains are right, rise right above Sierra Vista, I believe. And they get up like 9,400, 9,500 feet. I looked at the map. I don't know the name of those mountains, but uh, right on the Mexican border, Mexico is right on the other side. But I did not, I've never hiked, never hiked in those mountains. Whew. Hey. Yeah. Hey, now at the summit, still a while. I'll just check in at the summit. We gotta go for a while on the ridge, it looks like. So this summit is at 7290 feet. A little higher than I was guessing. Um, so, you know, we were parked almost up at 7,000. So higher than I thought. Um, yeah, so almost as high as I was yesterday. It was uh, over 7,700 yesterday on Babo Kavari. Whew, feels good up here. It's probably, I don't know, high 40s, maybe 50. Let's see here. Let me in. Guessing I can't get in. Just a fire lookout, National Historic Lookout. Um, you know what? I think we can go in. I think? No. Rebuffed. All right, well, we can't get in, but we can certainly look around to whatever those high mountains are above uh, Sierra Vista. 
you know, down on the other side is Mexico. So you're seeing something in Mexico down there. Um, so that parking lot is where we're going to start the big loop. We're going to loop down through these formations, down to that canyon. Then we'll start cutting up. We'll end up bending back around um, and coming back around. But that's essentially the route is down through all these rock formations. Um, and then up up that canyon, up that major drainage that you see. Oh, apparently this is a, is a caldera? Turkey Creek caldera. Um, I would have never guessed that. Huh. Yeah, I, uh... I guess right in front of those snowy mountains is a caldera. It looks like I would have I would have never guessed that. There's all sorts of stuff over here. That's just talking about fire, prescribed burns. Um, so anyway, that's uh that's a good view of the rabbit ears over there, Mount Graham. Down back to Wilcox way out there. It feels good up here. It feels good up here. Well, that was it. That was, uh, although you can't quite see the structure. It's a little higher. That was Sugarloaf. We're going to say a mile with 400 feet of gain, but I'll put the stats on the screen in the beginning. And now we're off to do the eight mile plus a spur. I think it'll be about in the ni a nine mile big loop to see some of the cooler stuff in the monument. Gorgeous up here, feels perfect.